Shifting now to a major congressional race, here are the results for U.S. House District 28. Incumbent Henry Guayot, a Democrat, is facing Republican Cassie Garcia, and with 39% of the vote in, he leads tonight, 54% to 46%. We have live team coverage of this race tonight. Troy Kless is live with the Garcia campaign in Selma, but first, we'll go live to Laredo, where Sarah Duran is standing by with Congressman Guayot. Sarah? He sees Congressman Cuellar's camp is feeling really excited right now. Congressman, tell me, tell me how you are feeling about the results so far tonight. Well, first of all, we feel very excited where we are right now. Uh, I have to say I've never seen this type of negative ads, but I would say that the, uh, the people in my district saw through this slice, and that's why we did so well. Places we got 72, 73, 74 percent, even higher. So I want to thank the voters for seeing through those lines. Yeah. If elected, what do you plan to do different or new in your next term? Well, you know, first of all, I sit in the Appropriations Committee. I'm the only Democrat in that appropriation, so I'm going to get to work. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. I'm planning to be in San Antonio in the next day or two, asking folks what they need for me to focus on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to travel the district and ask everybody what you, uh, should I be focused on. I know education and health care is very important along with transportation. Yeah. But until then, you're going to be closely watching the results tonight, correct? Oh, that's right. Uh, we know where we're at. We know where we're going to be at the end of this. We've done some calculations. But again, let's wait till they call the race. But I feel very, very confident about this race. Any lessons learned during this election year? Yeah. Uh, uh, in the old days, it was monies between one can and another candidate. Now we see millions of dollars from PACs that come in. Mm -hmm. We've never seen this in South Texas. The Republicans nationally said that they were going to turn South Texas red. I would tell you that not a single county in my district went red. None of them. None of them went red. They're all blue. And a lot of it, I just got to note, I got a lot of Republicans that cross over to support me. So I get Republicans and I get Democrats and independents. All right. Thank you, Congressman, and good luck. We'll send it back to you guys. Thank you, Sarah. Now